Our second top story actually happened late last week where the Florida Senate unanimously passed Senate Bill 1020, the bill that establishes Florida's hemp program. So what is hemp? Well, in order to define that, we have to look at the farm bill that was passed in December of 2018. So in late December of 2018, the federal farm bill was passed and signed. It legalized the cultivation and sale of hemp at the federal level. It also removed hemp from the Controlled Substances Act and allowed all states to implement a hemp program if they wanted to. Hemp is any part of the cannabis plant with a THC concentration of less than 0.3% by dry weight. The Farm Bill of 2018 was a catalyst in getting CBD into gas stations and restaurants that you might see in your city. So why should we care about hemp? It's great for food, great for salads, body oils, pet food, clothing, basically anything. Uh, Plastic, paper, and construction materials. So for example, I think one of the ways hemp will impact the country most is through hempcrete. This is when hemp is used for building materials, so they'll combine hemp with lime mineral. And there's stronger resistance to bad weather and less damage incurred during bad weather. Another industry hemp could tap into is the auto industry through fuel biodiesel and the making of actual cars. So a year ago, Jay Leno featured a story about the world's first carbon negative car made of hemp plastic. The body of the car is lighter than fiberglass. 10 times stronger than steel, and can run on recycled agricultural waste. In 1941, Henry Ford actually built a potentially carbon-negative car out of hemp plastic that ran on hemp fuel. The car ran on ethanol made from hemp or pretty much any other agricultural waste. It was also featured in popular mechanics magazines and the New York Times. So in 1937, hemp was strictly regulated by the Marijuana Tax Act. So in 1938... Popular Mechanics magazine dubbed hemp the new billion-dollar crop. So 1941, Henry Ford builds the car with panels partially made by hemp fiber. Also in that same year, the United States Army used their hemp for victory campaign to urge farmers to grow hemp and support them in World War II. Between 1942 and 1945, the U.S. cultivated 400,000 acres of hemp for the war effort. But in 1957, as World War II ended, the demand for hemp decreased, and so did hemp production. And then fast forward to 1970, the Controlled Substances Act comes into effect, abolishing the taxation approach that was implemented in the 1937 Marijuana Tax Act, making all parts of the cannabis plant, regardless of THC or CBD content, illegal. So we started following Senate Bill 1020 in March, where we were watching the bill move through the Senate Agricultural Committee. Through Senate Bill 1020... The Florida lawmakers are exercising the permission from the, fe- from the federal government to implement a hemp program. Senate Bill 1020 cleared all three committees without a no vote and accomplished the same on the Senate floor with a 36 to 0 vote. Specifically, the bill provides for the distribution and retail sale of hemp and hemp products. It's going to authorize the Department of Agriculture to implement the hemp program to oversee the cultivation, handling, processing, and sale of hemp. Our Commissioner of Agriculture is Nikki Freed, who ran on a platform of what she called her three W's, weapons, water, and weed. Commissioner Freed is all in for a hemp program in Florida because she thinks it will bring an industrial revolution and help struggling farmers in our state. And she wants entrepreneurs to think bigger than just CBD because a lot of people talk about hemp. The first thing they think about is the CBC, is the CBD side of things. She wants to emphasize that the industrial hemp side is actually where the, where the real play is. So what will happen is the Department of Agriculture will adopt rules to administer the hemp program, but they'll also consultate with the Department of Health and the Department of Business and Professional Regulation. Commissioner Freed said she had her team already started to do some drafting and will be having public hearings and testimony to make sure that the whole process is transparent and as open as possible. The 2018 Farm Bill allowed each state Department of Agriculture to create rules for their state's industrial hemp program. So on, so the definition of hemp is any part of the cannabis sativa L plant with less than 0.3% THC, which removes hemp-derived CBD products from this Controlled Substances Act, thus making it federally legal. But the FDA still has control over CBD products for human and animal consumption. Historically, the FDA has made it very clear and made statements that CBD consumption for human beings and animals is still illegal, and that unless your state has created a CBD program, you're still operating outside of the law. But the FDA is warming up to the idea. The FDA is hosting a public hearing on CBD 
on May 31st in Washington, D.C. So who knows, maybe the FDA will regulate CBD for human consumption, just as Florida is about to implement our hemp program. Representative Raf Masulo carried the House version of the bill with an amendment clarifying what hemp extract is and another clarifying the background check procedure for participants in the program. Both bills moved to Governor Ron DeSantis for approval from here. A.G. Gankarski of FloridaPolitics.com has a nice write-up of this story and visit the show notes below to see Daniel Rivera's article and interview with Nikki Freed on WLRN. Our last